YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and I wanted to do an unboxing for the A150 Kessel uh, Amazon Sun LED Aquarium Light. And I saw this light on display at the, a local store here called The Aquarium that I've mentioned before, and it was remarkable. I mean, I couldn't believe how nice it looked. So, uh, and such a small, small light was lighting up a, a pretty large aquarium and it had th that really great ripple look, which I think has to do with the distance between the, the, a really direct light and the water. The greater the distance, the more it will cast a shadow. So the slightest ripple really gives you that watery light effect on the bottom of the aquarium that just looks really incredible. And uh, so I bought one of these to try out on this 27 gallon and I thought I'd unbox it for you guys and we could take a look together. Okay, so let's open it up. Interesting packaging. All right. So as you can see, this light is really pretty small. Wow, it's packed really well. Look at these foam inserts. How cool is that? It pops right out. Gotta say, they packed this like they really wanted it to arrive safely. It was really well done. That's impressive. Now here it is. It's tiny. See how small? Oh wow, take a look at that. Very small, very small LEDs. A nice casing though. 150 watts, that's what this is good for. All right, let's see what else it comes with here. Looks like we have a uh, little power brick, some sort of an inverter, and um, your standard power cable. I don't, what you immediately notice is there's no way to attach it. Wait, it comes with some small screws here. Okay, so it also comes with these, uh, it comes with these small screws that you can put in the back here and some little hooks so you can like just hook it on. I've also seen uh, a gooseneck arm. Uh, the one I saw was attached by this gooseneck arm that came over kind of like one of those office lamps and must just attach to those uh, little screws also. And it would just kind of hold it in the perfect position which is sort of what I had in mind. Uh, actually I might, what I'm thinking about doing is having a hood uh, getting a hood for this or building one myself and attaching this on the inside. And because I'm running the CO2 system, uh, I'm using a pressurized CO2 system in it as well. What I might do is also include the LED light that came with this aquarium, which is, so if I use, I might use this light and this light together somehow to just create a tremendous amount of light inside of that aquarium and really get the most out of that CO2. And see if I can grow some different plants than I've tried to grow before. I've been very limited on the types of plants. You know, part of how, having a simple system uh, like I usually run is you don't need a tremendous amount of light. I mean, every bit of light you can give to your plants is gonna make them grow better, but there does come a point of diminishing returns where you've got a lot of light, but not enough, enough extra nutrients. So. I'm gonna to try to keep that balance going and just scale it up a little bit, more light, more CO2, and uh, see what I get out of it.
I really wanted to plug in uh, these lights and stuff for you today, but actually they're for a project that I'm going to have going on through the summer. And I'd like to tell you about it now. I would like to build a steampunk aquarium. And of course, things like the CO2 canisters and those types of things could just be mounted on the side and they look that much techno cool. So uh, I'm going to disguise a lot some of these things as other things and make sort of a mad scientist lab style steampunk aquarium. So here's what I'd like you to do. Send an email to the address you see here. And uh, I would like a a photograph that you think is kind of inspirational for a steampunk aquarium, or uh, I would like a drawing of what you imagine this, this thing could look like as a steampunk aquarium. I'm using this equipment you see here. Uh, and it, what I'll do is I'll take my favorite ones and uh, I'll say that those, those are my inspirations. So I want something to for inspiration, something to kind of kickstart me in the right direction. There's a, a lot of options that I'd like to include. Uh, I really need to be able to reach in here to maintain it, so there'll need to be a door of some sort in the top. I'm going to do a hood. I'm going to redo or reface some of this thing and maybe add devices to it. I've got some space inside, but because it's steampunk, some of that stuff can be mounted around the outside. So um, I'm just looking for ideas. If you've got a great idea and you send it to me, then I will mail you an aquarium plant. I've got a lot of uh, really huge Anubis Copophilia. I've got to trim it. It's just getting too big. Uh, I've got at least probably three or four samples of that I can mail out. I've got Rhodophilia. I've got all kinds of stuff. Just look through my videos. Uh, pick a plant that you particularly like. Uh, submit it, you know, the name of what you would want, along with uh, a drawing, photograph, or whatever you've got uh, for steampunk aquarium inspiration. And We'll say it'll go till the state you see below, and when that date's over, I'll pick my most uh, whatever inspires me the most out of those, and they'll win. So I'll say at least three winners, but if I just get tons of responses, there may be more. So uh, obviously, people in the U.S. will get their plants a lot quicker. Uh, and overseas, I'll have to just make sure that uh, I'm not breaking any laws by mailing a particular plant to you. So with that caveat in mind. Uh, please send me your ideas, and right after that date, I will post an update and let you know that uh, who's the winner, and I'll show you the picture, and then we'll start working on this aquarium. And uh, I'll be building this aquarium all through the summer, and it'll be a fun project, and I really hope that you join me for the ride. All right? Have a great day.